today, these tears are tears of joy. They're a grateful reflection of my past. And I sit back today, and all I can do is just be grateful. And this part I share, I share because I'm trying to give hope to a lot of mothers out there, both married and single mothers. That no matter what you go to trying to take care or raise your kids, you have to always find that inner strength to move on. No matter what life throws at you, always learn from it. And always channel your love to your children. I remember when I got married and on my wedding day, I discovered my husband did not love me. On my wedding night, he said, I do not love you. I only married you because you were pregnant. And I gave my life to Christ again. And I held on because I just could not walk out of a marriage I just got into. And I decided to have my son in church. And I did have him. The Redeemed Christian Church in Eter, right, Moshe? I remember the first time that boy popped out. Every pain I felt, every sadness, every guilt, every blame, everything just away. It went away because I put all the love in that boy, Festus. And I loved him with all my heart. And I never extended any hate to him. Nor did I ever make him see the tears I shed today. And I made a vow that I would give him all the love. Because he did not beg to come to this world. He did not beg to come to this world. I brought him into this world. And I will take care of him. And today I am so happy. That God answered my prayers. And in the beat of trying to make my marriage work. I found out I was pregnant again. And this time, the situation was even more worse. It was worse because my husband, my husband was, he was gone, even while we were together. And I tried. I tried to love him with every bit of me. I tried to give him everything, but he wasn't understanding my kind of love. And I do not blame him. Because we're two people who are the 